If you haven't subscribed, please do. Let's take a few deep breaths into the diaphragm. Eyes closed. Inhale deep into the belly and exhale just with a gentle sigh. Bring your palms together and rub them briskly. Heart center, inhale. Exhale. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Inhale. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Om Namo We're going to start with some breath of fire and some arm work. Arms come up, palms facing each other. It's about a 40 degree angle at this one. Eyes closed, breath of fire, so equal inhale, exhale through the nose, pumping the stomach with the breath. Breath should be audible. Inhale, hold the breath, pump your stomach 16 times, and then exhale and inhale and continue that breath cycle. So just holding the breath gently, pumping the navel point. And then exhale slow. Inhale. One more cycle. And relax the arms down. Eyes closed. Just take a few breaths. Rotate your shoulders a few times. Squeeze them up towards the ears a few times. Releasing that tension. So this next bit, we're on the knees. If you don't feel comfortable sitting on the knees, you just stay in easy pose. It's acceptable. We're only here for one minute on this particular one. 
the arms come straight out to the sides. Just let the hands dangle down, so limp wristed. And breath of fire. Eyes closed, mentally vibrating. Sat as you inhale, nam as you exhale. Really get into the breath, coordination with the mantra. Last 10 seconds, really power that navel point. Inhale. Exhale. So the next two exercises, they're kind of similar to camel. We're up on the knees. And then we're leaning back into the hands with the knees wide. So most of the weight is really on the hands. You, know, you can sink the bone down if you want, but if that's not comfortable, keep your hips active, pressing your hips towards the ceiling. We're going to be inhaling, exhaling, holding the breath out and pumping the navel point as many times as you can, holding the breath out and then just continuing the cycle. We're here for one minute. So holding the breath out and just pumping your stomach. Your head can fall back or protect the neck, keeping it up. Just as you are, if your knees are sensitive, you can always do this in camel. Do what you gotta do to protect yourself. Then for this next bit, we're supposed to go lower down, but for you, Molly, just extend your legs out and come back into the arms and let your head fall back. Just inhale, exhale, hold the breath out and really pump that navel point as many times as you can with the breath out. But for everyone else watching, just stay up on the heels and come back as far as you can comfortably. One more cycle. Let's really get into that pumping in the navel point. Feel the power of your solar plexus and navel. Inhale. Exhale, relax. Next, we have a couple options. Either child's pose or lying on your back, hugging your knees in towards your chest. Lying on the back is the passive way, the gentle point of this next is just relaxation. So 
Just find a comfortable position. Take a few very deep breaths. Really filling the diaphragm and feeling your, your core press into the thighs as you inhale. Just relaxing completely as you exhale. If you're in child's pose, bring your palms together above the crown of the head for Guru Pranam. If you're on your back, just hug your knees in and feel secure. do a little chanting call and response in this position I'll chant and then you just repeat after me it's really simple the first part is ong second part is so hung s o s a n g ong 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 so hung so hung so hung so hung ong 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 so hung so hung so hung so hung Ong, 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 ong. So hung, so hung, so hung, so hung. Ong, 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 ong. So hung, so hung, so hung, so hung. Ong, 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 ong. So hung, so hung, so hung, so hung. Ong, 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 ong. So hung, so hung, so hung, so hung. Inhale. Retain the breath for one moment. Squeeze up on mole bond. And exhale, come up slowly. Their legs stretched out in front of us. Just a forward fold. If you have tight hamstrings, strong bend of the knee is great. We're going to bring our chest to our thighs. Just fold forward to whatever degree you can comfortably, keeping your spine erect and breathe deep. me to help that chest to thigh action. I bend my knees strong and wrap my arms around my hamstrings. Slowly walk the legs down. Breath is deep into the diaphragm.
Inhale, rise up. We're gonna plant our hands right under our shoulders, fingers facing our feet. Press our heels into the ground with the legs outstretched. And bring ourselves up to a back platform. You can drop the head back. Just breathe long and deep. Fire that core. Squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. This protects the low spine. Really engage that lower core so it's almost like a light mole bond pull. And breath of fire. Start to walk your feet out just a few inches and back together. If that serves, if not, just stillness. For me, it doesn't serve my knees to move them, so I just sit. Another 15 seconds here. And come down, fold forward once again. Feel the elongation with the exhale, the relaxation, or elongation with the inhale, relaxation with the exhale. Come up, outstretch legs, slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time, all the way to your back, palms at your, arms at your side, palms up, legs about mat width apart, I'm going to say a body part and just repeat it mentally and visualize it, a moment of relaxation. Start with the right side, right foot, ankle, calf muscle, shin, right knee, right hamstring, quad, hip, side body, armpits, right shoulder, upper arm, elbow, lower arm, right hand, whole right side, to the left side, left foot, ankle, calf muscle, Chin, left knee, hamstrings, left quads, hip, side body, left armpit, shoulder, upper arm, elbow, left lower arm, hand, the whole left side, the whole right side, neck, head, the whole body, the whole body. Visualize your whole body relaxed on the floor.
stillness, relaxation, no effort. Inhale deep, exhale with a sigh. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Roll around the wrists and ankles. Stretch your arms up overhead. Point your toes away, full body stretch. <sighs> Hug the knees in. Rock side to side a few times. And then inhale, rock back, exhale, rock forward. So we're gonna do, it's sort of like half butterfly, but not quite. One of the ways is you sit on your heel, but another way is take your right heel in and press it into your perineum. So just in between your anus and sex organs, this helps stimulate first chakra, you just bring the heel in with the leg out to the side, sort of in a half butterfly. That's a pretty safe way to do it on the knee. And we're going to inhale, exhale, bend over that outstretched leg. You can bring a sharp bend to the leg if you need to, just to draw the chest towards the knee. I'm going to be inhaling, exhaling. Hold the breath out and gauge up on root lock and squeeze in on your diaphragm. Inhale. Exhale. Hold the breath out. Squeeze mole bond. Serectum, sex organs, navel. Squeeze in on your diaphragm. Inhale, exhale, hold out, squeeze. Eyes closed. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, come up slowly and switch sides. Just pressing that heel into the perineum. Turning towards that outstretched leg, folding over it to whatever degree you can comfortably. Once you're there, inhale, exhale, hold the breath out, engage on your root and diaphragm. Each diaphragm lock is Uddiyata Bond. When you're doing this with all three, it's Maha Bond. Inhale. Exhale, hold. Inhale, exhale, hold. Inhale, exhale, hold. Inhale, exhale, hold.
inhale. And exhale, come up. Now, slowly, come all the way to her back. Outstretch our hands over the crown of our head. Press our lower back into the ground. It's all doing alternate leg lifts. You can point your toes or flex your feet towards you. By inhaling one leg up, exhaling down, and then opposite. Really power your breath. Engage your core. Slight pull on mole bond. breath here. Ten more seconds. Exhale, relax them down. Keep the hands where they are. Point your toes. Lift your legs about 12 inches and breath of fire. If your nose is clogged, you can always do breath of fire through an O-mouth breath. Feel your core, your navel point, pulling a slight mole bond, squeezing the lower triangle with strength. 15 more seconds. Inhale, exhale, relax. Oh, beautiful. Bring the arms to your sides, palms up, breathe, Just feel your body against the floor, whatever's coming up, maybe a strong pulsation at your navel. Set ourselves up for shoulder stand. So bring your feet flat, about hip width apart. Compress your palms into the ground next to your hips. Lift the hips up off the ground. Bring your hands under your bum. Lift one leg and then the other. Press the feet towards the ceiling. Your back is relatively straight here. Check that you're not throwing too much weight onto your neck, that you can lift it up. And once you're at your edge, let your feet fall wide. And breath of fire. If you have neck issues here, you can always just do bridge.
really power the breath. It can be through the mouth here, doing it through the nose when you're upside down can be difficult. Vibrating sat and nam mentally. Inhale, draw the legs together. Hold the breath for one moment. And exhale, lower down one vertebrae at a time. It's extreme control. Extend the legs out. Arms at your side, palms up. Take a few breaths. Deep diaphragmatic breathing, filling yourself up completely on the inhales and just sighing and letting it all go with the exhales. Arms come straight up, palms facing each other. We're going to be lifting the head about three inches. Then as it goes down, the feet go up about three inches. So we're just sort of doing this teeter-totter. We're only here for a minute. Really feel your navel center firing every time you're lifting the legs. Your arms stay still if possible. Lower back presses into the ground. This protects it. This ensures that you're using your core. About 20 more seconds. And relax. Hug the knees in, inhale, rock back, exhale, roll forward, just rock and roll on your spine for a minute. Protect your neck, don't quite come to your head. And then come up to sit. And give ourselves a hug, just grabbing opposite elbows, drawing figure eights with the neck and head. Breathe. In reverse.
from center. Inhale, hold the breath, just bow and come up 10 times holding the breath out. And relax. Bring your left hand over your heart center, right hand over left. I'm going to use the mantra, God and me, me and God are one. So God and me, me and God are one. Just really vibrate this softly or loudly, but let it out. Inhale. God and me, me and God are one. God and me, me and God are one. God and me, me and God are one. God and me. God in me, me and God are one. God in me, me and God are one. God in me. God in me, me and God are one. God in me, me and God are one. God in me. God in me, me and God are one. God in me, me and God are one. God in me, me and God. God in me, me and God are one. One last time. God in me, me and God are one. Let's keep this posture. Breathe. You've been working with an intention, send it out now. Just feel secure and loved. Bring the palms together. Give them a little rub. All right, center. Let's sing a little song over us. If you know it, join along. If not, at the end will be a satnam and an om. 
May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on, guide your way on, guide your way on. Satnam May we be happy and healthy. May our paths lay out before us and be brightly lit so we can see where we're going. Thank you so much for joining me. Satnam. Also know that we have a Patreon and we are accepting supporters. The lowest tier is $5. That keeps things like this being made, helps support this path, this studio, these teachers. Thank you for watching.